we have wolf management. I often hear, well, wolves need to be managed, we, but we have wolf management. When wolves were an endangered species, they were federally endangered. Since 2010, 17 wolves were killed because they were considered a human safety risk, even though there was never any imminent threat to any human. But we had that authority. If wolves moved into a residential area, as they did in Ironwood, we were able to go in. When I say we, collectively, the agencies were able to go in and kill wolves. 12 of the 17 wolves were killed after they followed deer into a residential area. So the point is, for human safety concerns, we have the tools available to do that. Between 2005 and 2006, <coughs> nine wolves were killed under special permit. So even though they were federally endangered, the state was able to go to the feds and say, look, we have a problem in an area where wolves are coming into town. We need to take action. And the feds said, here, go kill the wolves. So we were able to do it. Everything changed January of 2012 when wolves became federally delisted. And I like this cartoon because it says the good news is we've been removed from the endangered species list. The bad news is we've been removed from the endangered species list. And what happened in anticipation of delisting, we knew delisting was going to come, each of the states in the Great Lakes region and elsewhere where there are wolves, we had to develop a management plan. And in Michigan, we developed a plan that used the best available science. It was done by consensus. There were about 23, 24 different groups representing different interests. I served on the round table. So we listened to every side of the issue. We listened to trappers. We listened to hunters. We listened to bear hounders, people who hunt with bear or with hounds. There was strong public support with an extremely strong emphasis on education. Almost every time we were coming up with a chapter that we were going to be discussing, the issue of education came up. And we said, more information is needed. Now, here we were. This management plan was signed back in 2008. The DNR website, and I'm not here just to bash the DNR, but the DNR website still has data there from 2008. They haven't even updated the website. Where's the education? And just because we can kill wolves doesn't mean we should. Um, hunters, and this is some of the research that's out there, um, and I pulled together a bunch of research, all the different research I could find, Hunters of wolves showed little inclination to conserve wolves. One of the lines I hear is, hunters are the conservationists. No, when it comes to wolves, those who kill wolves are killing wolves because of hatred or fear. Also, uh, research is showing that hunting affects wolves more strongly than expected. I hear, oh, wolves are going to become more wary if we have a hunting season. A dead wolf doesn't learn anything. Once you shoot that wolf, how does he learn that to become more wary? The other wolves watching him? Oh, my buddy just got shot. That's going to make me more wary of humans? Wolves hear gunshots all the time in the woods. They hear deer getting killed. They hear bird shots. They hear other animals getting shot. They hear guns going off. They hear firecrackers going off. So hunting wolves is not going to make them more weary. Loss of a breeder. Uh, this was some interesting research that was done, and it showed how one bullet killed a pack. They killed one wolf, but that caused the pack to totally dissolve. In other cases, what will happen if the breeder is killed, uh, maybe the pack will stay intact, but it may take two or three years before another breeder comes into that pack. So the loss of a breeder can be very, very critical. And when you think hunting, Hunters tend to go for the biggest animal. The animals that they're going to want for their trophy hanging <coughs> on the wall is the largest animal. The largest animal is going to tend to be that breeder, either male or female. Those are the animals that, as hunters, we like to go after. We want the animals with the biggest rack. Uh, and I'm not up here to try and say I'm against any kind of hunting. I like venison just as much as the next person. I enjoy cooking a venison roast. 
We're just looking at the aspects of whether or not it's really necessary to hunt wolves. 